here in the kitchen once again with Chef Terry Freeman with Cook Street School of Culinary Arts. And thanks again for being here this morning. Absolutely. And for those that missed the earlier segments, what's your theme for today? The theme for today is Provence. And because Cook Street focuses on French and Italian cuisine, I chose to do basically a meal that really is indicative of that region. Okay, so from start to finish, we're, we've now moved on to dessert. What do yes. we get now? Yes, so now we have roasted strawberries. And because strawberries are in season, um, I thought it would be nice to show another way of serving strawberries. And there's strawberry shortcake, and there's all different kinds of recipes, but this one's a little unusual. Okay. Uh, in the sense that you actually roast them in the oven. So. Well, yes, I've never done that before. Well, and it really lets the sugars come out of the fruit, so it gives it this nice tart flavor and then really sweet flavor. And to enhance that, what we're going to do is we're going to first coat the strawberries. I've got some honey here. I'm going to add some lemon juice, some lemon zest. Okay. It's not coming out so well. So you're going to mix all this together yep. to and some roast thyme, them in. Fresh thyme and some vanilla bean. And so what we'll do is mix this all together. And then add a little butter. And this on top. is something that if you wanted to prepare this ahead of time, if people are thinking it's Sunday and they're having mm -hmm. company over, you can do this part maybe ahead of time. Absolutely. And we're just gonna toss our berries in here really quickly. And then we'll go ahead and put them in a roasting pan. And you just want to roast them at 350 for about 30 minutes. And cook them whole like that? You don't need to cut them up smaller? No, because when you cut them up smaller, they'll shrivel and shrink. And so you really want to keep them whole. Place them on this baking sheet here with the residual um, liquid that we've got. Okay. And then as they roast and those juices come out of the fruit, um, basically... You'll take them out of the oven after 30 minutes, mm -hmm. and we'll just dot it with a little butter. Um, and then you can take that sauce, and you can put it in the pan and reduce it down even more. So it ends up with this really nice syrupy sweet sauce. Oh, wow. And you can serve it with some Chantilly cream, which is just sweetened cream. But the thyme and everything and the fresh strawberries just really make that flavor happen. And what about the texture of the strawberries once they're roasted like that? How does that differ compared to if you were going to serve them as raw. is. Well, essentially it makes them softer, it's they're, but they're not mushy. Yeah. So only roasting them for 30 minutes is all that's necessary. Got it. So it has this really nice texture to it and a little something different. Yeah, absolutely. A nice way to complement what we had earlier. And for mm -hmm. people that miss those recipes, they're online? Absolutely. We also have a Provence class coming up next week. Mm -hmm. So Provence is also about seafood and right now there's a lot of fresh things coming out. You've got peas, you've got morels, you've got all these wonderful spring vegetables. So check out our Provence class coming next week and you can visit our website www.cookstreet.com. Look forward to checking out one of these classes. They all sound so interesting and you make it so that it's really simple for everyone who doesn't have any experience in this mm -hmm. stuff, right? Absolutely. Our whole focus is to teach people technique. And it's not about, like, when we did the lamb earlier, you know, we seared the lamb in the pan, but I also talked about how you can grill them. Those are the kinds of things that we talk about in our classes. So more than one way to do things, mm -hmm. more than one technique, make it easy for people so it's not so intimidating. Okay. All right. Thanks so much for being yeah. here. Check out those recipes on the Denver Channel .com, And we'll be right back after this.